Oh, are you trying to build a channel and you don't know how? You keep watching all these YouTube videos and sure they tell you that you need a niche and you need this and you need that, but how do you build it? That's like telling somebody how to build a house. Here, go read this book. You wanna watch and see how it's done, right? Well, that's what you're gonna get today. We are gonna build a channel today, step by step. From scratch, we're gonna build one actually in my husband's name. So we're not even going into my channel and I'm not gonna show you what's already done, okay? So first of all, get ready, get a pen and paper or just sit here and build with me. Go step by step and keep stopping the video as we go along. And then you can start your channel mechanically, really start it and build it today. Before we get started i want to welcome you to my channel where you can create an income generating business using affiliate marketing with youtube and that's the kind of videos you'll see on my channel now before you go i want to make sure that you know to subscribe go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell you'll just be notified whenever i release a video and that's only two times a week it doesn't bother you i've got a lot of different videos that i subscribe to and it just kind of shows you up in your youtube channel what you've subscribed to who's got new videos and they pop up for you so they're always there to watch if you want to go find me on instagram at vanessa underscore deberlay.com on instagram so don't forget to look for me there and i have a blog at vanessa deberlay.com all right so let's get started the first thing that we want to do is go to www.youtube.com okay and this is what popped up for me and i'm going to hit sign in down over here to the right if you don't already have one obviously you don't you're going to create an account so let's go ahead and create an account and make sure you type everything in all right so you're going to go through all the parts um, filling all that out i'm not going to show it on my screen but you're going to put your email address in your birth date and all of that information your phone number um, or if you want your uh, cell phone number on there that is fine but they're going to verify it right now when you put it in so after you get to that point um, go ahead and, and pause right now and go through all those parts until you get, verify your phone number once you verify your phone number turn me back on and then we'll go from there okay we want to read all the privacy stuff and agree to it and basically they're telling you that you need to make sure you use your channel for things that are appropriate to be honest and it's those um, normal things <laughs> they don't want you to curse use any profanity no pornography or anything like that um, if you're just putting out good clean wholesome videos then you should have no problem so here we are now you are in your video um, in your and there's a K up here my husband's name is Carl and we're going to go ahead and create the channel first um, now you're going to create your channel name now right here since you put your name in for Google or if you opened up a Google account or whatever um, your name's going to be there and it's going to look something like this if you want this to be part of your business then you want to select over here and put a different picture in and a different name um, just for the sake of today I'm going to select Carl D. Berlay, and you're agreeing to the terms and services of YouTube by doing that you can go in and change it but I do believe that if you change it, it you can only change it like once every 30 days or something like that and then once you get to a certain number of subscribers and I think it's like a thousand or something you're not allowed to change it anymore so um, make sure you, you, ha you have time to make up your mind is what I'm saying at this point so here we can upload a picture but I'm gonna be honest that I don't have a picture um, handy so what you would do is just click click this K or whatever your initial is find a picture on your um, on your desktop and pull it in and that would be the picture for your um, channel after that you're going to tell people about your channel so your channel description um, go ahead and type it in here for your description any links that you want it to go to so if you have a website that you want to link it to you put it there and then if you have social media accounts you want to link it to there so especially if you're starting a business you want to link it to your Facebook your Twitter and your Instagram because later you're going to be able to um, use those and put them up in the channel um, part and I'll show you how to do that okay now if you want to set that up later that's fine too after 
after you do all those parts and follow the steps and get all that in and you hit enter, remember a lot of that stuff, like your description, your name, and all of your different social media platforms, you can add those later and I'm gonna show you where to add them, where to revise them, okay? So don't get caught up in, oh my gosh, I have to make all these decisions right now. Just get a piece of paper, jot it down and say, hey, I really wanna think about the name of my channel. And, and those are things that I did in a video that I just did last week. I did talk about those things, the planning part of making the channel. So I'm gonna put that right here so that you can go ahead and watch that if you haven't got all that down it's going to talk about your niche and the planning and the thinking part and before you decide to build the channel now can you do what i'm doing right now without that knowledge yes but if you're getting a little bit flustered and feeling like you need to have that information then watch the channel and come back Now here, we're going to customize the channel, okay? We're not gonna get started and upload a video because we haven't completed our channel yet. Can you upload a video? Absolutely, you can. But right now, that's not what we're doing. We're creating the channel. I've got other uh, videos about how to upload the video and things like that. So we're not even gonna go there, we're just making the channel. So we're gonna customize the channel and that's where you're gonna add your channel art. Now this can, um, I know when I first built my channel, I thought I had to hire somebody to do the art and Yes, eventually you might want to if you're not real artsy, but in the beginning, if you just do it yourself, I try in my business to not spend money on things until I feel like I'm at that level that I want to up my game, if that makes sense. In the very, very beginning, nobody sees you anyway, and even when your channel's really small, um, you have to be um, make good decisions about where you're going to hire people, okay? Because you're, you've got to hire according to where your income is coming in. And that's just the way it is, all right? So here you are, you're gonna add channel art. Now, this channel art, this is what you see when you go to somebody's channel. It can be a little bit of tricky when you build it. Um, I'm gonna take you to Canva, canva.com. And in it's a free uh, graphic tool design place. You can make all your media posts from here. But up in the right-hand corner, once you get in there, I want you to select create a design. And then you're gonna select what kind of design. We're gonna do YouTube channel art. Now what it does, it, it measures it for you. Now this is what's misleading about designing this. It does take a little bit of time. I would actually take a day to play with this to make, and if you get it done in an hour, that's great. But the reason I say that is when you go in to design it, it has the channel art dimensions on the outside. And I'm gonna show you one that I have made. One that I made. It's actually from over a year ago. Um, I was making three videos a, a day at the time and my colors were black and red. I've changed them and so I'm gradually changing my thumbnails and things. But what I want to point out, the reason I'm showing this to you, is everything has to be in the center and very small and thin. And you might say, well, that's weird. Um, and, and when you design it, you're given this great big area here and it's very deceiving. And you start bringing in pictures and things and you have this awesome design thinking that when you put it into YouTube channel art that it'll just resize itself and it doesn't. You literally have to build within the perimeters of this little skinny area here. You're gonna have to play with it. I actually keep this one because it helps me get a visual and to remember exactly where I need the everything to be. Now, Google information and, and all that. So I'm gonna go back to my channel page and just show you what it looks like now. And again, I probably need to go in and change the font. It's not very big, but I'm moving to these colors. And again, I just want you to mostly see that it has to be little when you're designing it, okay? And you're gonna play around with it. So that's the next step. After that, we're gonna go back to the channel. After that, you're gonna pull that in and you just hit add channel art right here, okay? So you're gonna to have to play with it, like I said. You're gonna go over to the left-hand side and you're gonna go under settings. You're gonna to go to um, home. Well, actually, let's go over here. You're gonna to go to YouTube Studio. And on the left-hand side, there are some settings that I want you to fill out. And these are the settings that you wanna to try to remember. So you're gonna go on the left-hand side. This is your dashboard where all of your information is. This is kind of exciting if you think about it. You have zero everything, no analytics, no nothing, and you're starting fresh. I think it's kind of exciting. Um, it, it, it takes time to build, but it's exciting when you just first start out. All right, so you're gonna go down over here to the left and you're gonna go under settings. See down here and make sure you fill these out. 
in the settings is where you can actually change your description if you want to, okay? All right, so we're going to just cross that out. We, I'm going to, on this one, U.S. Uh, dollar currency, so check that. Then you're going to go to the channel, and you just go through each one. Now, this is where you're going to add keywords, and you're really going to watch a lot of videos about keywords. Actually, I have a whole playlist about um, YouTube mechanics and YouTube for beginners. I'm going to put both of those playlists at the end because every time I went through all of these different steps, I made a video so any question you have go in there into both of those playlists the one is more about mechanics and the other one's about other things like um, SEO and stuff like that so keywords are the words that you're you want people to search for so if you're doing health and fitness and that's pretty broad but maybe you're teaching about the keto diet so you're gonna find words that will help people um, find you and again you want to find you can change this anytime these are the keywords for your channel and as you're making your videos you want to make sure you're always using those keywords and it honestly takes time I have changed and went in and revised that several times because I think in the beginning I made the mistake of thinking the more keywords the better well what happens is it makes you too broad um, you really want to in my last video I talked about this you want to come up with your niche what your channels about and then you just want to hit like six different pillars or branches think of a tree and you have six branches sticking out so if you're talking about health and fitness well what six areas of health and fitness like how or if you're talking about the keto diet how can you break that up into six branches okay and 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 it sticks within the same perimeters but it helps more people find you and you stay within that niche so that's why don't overthink this right now because you're new I mean if you're really good at this then go ahead by all means and put them in but it takes time to really become an expert at that and to get better at it and you may find that you chose six different branches and you're like um nobody when I make videos about these four topics a lot of people are watching but then when I go off on these two even though they're related I'm not getting as many views well you might think well then maybe I won't make videos about that I'll I'll, I'll start making more videos about the things that people are watching so you got to remember Remember, you're, you're pleasing an audience. People are looking for things. They're searching for things. And you want to be the one to answer those questions. So again, these are things that can be changed. What country do you live in? You're going to put down here. After that, you have upload defaults. Now, I didn't know about this at first. I didn't know what it was and it, title. Don't put a title in here because the title is what describes your video. If you put something in here, it'll pop up on every video and then you have to change it. So leave it blank. The description is where you want to put down. Um, this is what I do. I write description and then I put um, after that from there down, I put stuff that I want on every video. So I might put down um, different videos I want people to watch. I might put all my social media platforms come visit me here i might put down i have a list of equipment that i use or tools and i say these are the tools that i use different things like that that's the stuff i want on every single video and at the top when i upload my video then i go in and actually type in a description that is very unique to that video and then i might have a list of um, different links or things that I talked about references that I talked about in the video so if there was something I was offering to them that was unique to the video that's where I put it so everything here is by default it will pop up on every one and like I said when I first did this I didn't know and I put a title in and do not put the title in okay down here um, visibility you want to select that and right away um, I would just put it to the public you can always change that when you upload your video it's going to be set to public and you might have something I'm a school teacher online and sometimes I make videos for my students that's why a lot of my videos that's why I have a lot of videos because it's not just for my channel but they I might make a video for my students to watch like I'll do a follow-up to the parents I teach online and I'll do a video to follow up and then I can see how many of the kids actually watched it or if, if it's getting watched so it might be a review even though I already did a lesson does that make sense so the kids that maybe didn't understand it they need a, a different way of me teaching it I might send it to the parent and teach the parent and say this is something you can try at home and it just brings it to another level so I keep those private or unlisted um, I'm unlisted because they're only for people who get the link and private is just for me nobody can see it okay so set that at public then you want to go to permissions um, he's the owner 
Um, and if you want to invite other people to work in your video, once you start to get the higher people, you can invite them and they can be um, in here as well. Um, community. Um, moderators, um, here you go, you can add moderators, you can appro add approved users and hidden users. And again, this is when you hire people or have people um, work with you, you can have blocked words. I don't think I've blocked anything and I haven't had a problem of anything popping up, you know, any problems. Um, blocked links, um, you may find that are th there are things that you want to block, uh, maybe people um, write things in the comments or whatever, and you might have to um, start blocking things. I, again, have not had a problem with that. And here is your agreement right there. So you would save all that. I'm just going to hit cancel because, well, let's hit save. I didn't put anything in there though, did I? All right. Now, most people, they want to be monetized. So you go under monetization and it's going to tell you what you need to do and where you're at and your goal is kind of cool you can i i watch this all the time when i was trying to monetize my goal was to get monetized and i made a decision in december 2018 on december 26th i made my first video and my goal was every single day i was going to make a video and i did until i hit a thousand subscribers which took me about 10 months and after that i went down to three and then I got my 4,000 hours of views by January. So it took me almost exactly a year to get monetized, but I got my subscribers within 10 months. And um, you can keep coming here and you tell them, notify me when I hit it. And it's so exciting when you, when you do hit it. So you, I want you to go back down here into settings and I want you to go back up to channel. I apologize, I thought this was in a different spot, but it's under your channel. We're building a channel, right? <laughs> it makes sense, be here. All right, you wanna go under advanced settings and do you want to set your channel as made for kids? I set mine as no, it's not for kids. The reason I do that, kids can watch every one of my videos and I have nothing to hide, but if you say it's specifically for kids, then from what I believe you cannot get monetized on those videos because they're just for kids and if people are advertising they're advertising to adults so um that's why so i always put no um, this channel is not made for kids i never un uh, upload information just for kids so then you want to save that oops not yet we got to go back to settings sorry all right we're going back to channel let's go under branding under branding this is where you choose a watermark or an image um, watch other videos and you can see down in that bottom right hand corner they have a little button that says subscribe or it might have a little logo or something like that you want to choose an image and put that there okay and you're going to upload it and then when you upload it it's going to say do you want this just to show up for the first few seconds do you want it to show the entire video or just for how much time i leave it there the entire time and it says subscribe and how i got my subscribe little image was I just went and found one um, and copied it and put it in there so you can even build one yourself you can go to canva make a red background and then you can uh, make it logo size and then put the word subscribe in it and make it yourself in canva um, you could do it either way um, you have to be careful there is a way to find pictures that are free that anybody can use it's called common stock photo um, but that's a whole nother video so what I would advise is just to go into canva make a red background with white lettering and just say subscribe or put your logo there and when people select that it's they can subscribe to your channel okay and then we have feature eligibility default features is enabled upload videos create playlists and add collaborators and new videos to playlists so basically that is all set up there's no strikes and we're good to go okay and let's go back up here and then it says features that require phone verification i don't even go in there and do that there's nothing in there that um i do okay so that's basically it you're going to put your watermark in the corner i do have a video where i specifically made to show you step by step um, it's in the playlist that i talked about earlier so you can go ahead and see everything in there if you forget any of these steps so i hope this helped you it's physically showing you how to go in and set up your channel and then you can start uploading your videos and like i said all these decisions will be changed
changed over time. You will um, you have to start thinking about branding um, and different colors that you want to use so that people know it's you. And you might, like I did, I started out with red and black, and then I thought, well, I kind of want to go to the blue. It's a little bit, pops a little bit better. So, uh, you know, you can make changes, but you're going to find that you're always redoing until you get what you want right um and it's okay i want to i'm saying that because i want you to realize it can be changed it's not stuck there forever let me know if this was helpful to you going step by step uh, if you have any questions down below go ahead and write them in the comments and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button and i'll see you on the next video